Welcome to the Alfa Romeo 4C. Now we have uh, quite a few cars, hopefully, that this is going to be able to battle up against. Uh, we've already done one of them, obviously. One of them being uh, the um, Alpine that we did, the A110. I'm hoping this is going to be a rival for that. Uh, so it's going to be quite good. Now we've uh, got into some of the cars, we're going to have quite a few rivalries. Uh, like the hot hatch, obviously the R20 R is completely dominating that at the moment. But there is a few cars for that to come. I mean, we still have the uh, the Audi RS3. Uh, we have AMG's uh, A45. Uh, but this, we have quite a lot of competition. I mean, we have the Porsche Cayman 7, uh, the 718 Cayman. We have the Lotus Savora. Uh, we have the uh, the Z4, uh, we have the Toyota Supra, all these are very similar style cars, but this one, uh, we just got given this in the car pack, is a bit special, because this is a complete carbon tub, uh, which makes this incredibly lightweight. Uh, it's got a bit of a strange engine, it's a 1.7 turbo which uh, is probably the only downside to this car but the rest of it makes up for it because it's it's obviously a timeless classic from the day that it rolled off the uh, the forecourt and uh, yeah let's do a lap and see what it can do here we go the Alpha 4C I'm fairly intrigued on what this can actually do trying to get a bit of a feel for it because uh, haven't driven anything really since the uh, the Astra that's quite a bit of understeer actually straight out of the bat which I I didn't expect that I was going to have. hit the rev limiter. I feel I'm going to hit that quite a lot in this car for some reason. These seem a little bit short together. Ooh. Didn't think I was going to turn then. We could definitely do with a sportier tyre, that's for sure. Yeah, understeer is really bad. I'm I'm shocked by that. Let's see what I can do in the compression. I'm gonna rain any time back in. 145. It's not it's nothing special. I mean, 145 miles is still pretty quick, but. When hot hatches can do it too. Is there a real need for one of these full seas? <laughs> it's got a really set of light here for me to uh, like it a bit more. I know there was a different reason why I love all hatches so much though. <laughs> they could do everything. Yep, 
even through there, I was a bit nervous. Come on, fool, see, so set my pants on fire. It's just not exciting. Which is a little bit disappointing. I think I had more fun in the Astro. With just its quirkiness. Yeah, I'd be uh, interested to see what I can do versus the Alpine. I think the Alpine is much better. That's saying something. Let's hope it's faster than the uh, the older Alpine as well. <laughs> Five minute mark already. It's not looking good. Still on the black stuff. It's very easy to drive though, which uh, I was surprised by. I thought I was going to drive a bit more like an MR2 with some lift off oversteer. Although this is a very beautiful car. It's just not the one that spices me up, if you know what I mean. I mean, put some some race tires on this, and my god, it it'll be fast because you can already tell it's got a very easy balance to the car. It's just missing a bit of mechanical grip, which I think race tires would instantly help out with. It'll be just stuck to the road then. Hundred and forty three mile now. See it again. 
It's nothing special. That's going to be like in the fastest braking zone. Very civilized. Eight minutes, 16 seconds. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that is incredibly close to the Renault McGann time. I mean, did that even beat the McGann? That's also a testament of how good that R26R is.